Thanks for having me, Michael. Uh, my name is Peter. I founded iReachem uh, three years ago. And um, typically what we do is that we, we build digital assistance uh, to, to increase yeah. productivity, for example, for sales teams. Yeah, That's our core business. So, so what do I have to imagine? I mean, you told me a story like you get a number, you can phone them up, and there is a, a bot sitting by. So tell me a bit more, how can you help? customers and people say, why, why would I need it yeah well, well it's quite simple a couple of years ago we, we the first thing we did was see what, what is the most time-consuming tasks that salespeople are experiencing mm -hmm. today and typically it's like filling in CRM um, missing calls and making calls so we made a some of the list of the the most typical things they lose time with yeah and then afterwards we went into a small room a black room and said okay how can we help them by using technology and then quite quickly we came to the the typical sector of digital assistance so mm -hmm. we're trying to build a digital assistant uh, for uh, sales guys so they don't need to fill in their crm anymore they don't need to handle all of their calls so it's so, uh, so, so how does it work so very you you have some use case you were telling mm -hmm. me some use case maybe you give one so yeah we sure. really get it for example you 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 you, you just did a, a meeting with the prospect you come out of your car what's the first thing you need to do you need to fill in your crm system for follow-up or whatever yeah you typically you call the crm bot as we call mm -hmm. it and from the car you actually dictate what you want to have in your crm system it's as simple as that and it T has a lot of potential typically what what, what the other things you can do with with voice capabilities for example we we just uh, we just did a project for uh, for a big client of ours who is in the um, the business of uh, kettles and um, kettles, what do you kettle, mean? Well, uh, heating, heating kettles. Ah, yeah, 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 uh, okay. The, 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 with what you have in your home to make yeah. sure that it's warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the heating. The heating. Yeah. Um, and, you and see, we're not engineers. No, uh, no, we're not The heating stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the heating thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the things that make us hot. Yeah. Um, and and on, the, on that case, one of the things is that a lot of their clients were calling salespeople when they had technical issues. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's Meaning, a big one. Oh, you sold me something, it isn't working, you need to go, you need to be here. Yeah. So one of the things we did is that we've put a bot on their mobile phone that actually understands the reason why people are calling them. Yeah. So if they see, okay, this is a guy calling for a technical intervention, the bot would automatically notify the, the technical service. But, but you do it on, on the voice or like press two, four? No, no, no. It's that's the horror, huh? Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> the horror. You have different ways of doing it, but uh. here it's a use case where you hear the voicemail of the sales guy, yeah. but afterwards the the voice drop he does, so the voicemail ah, yeah, he does, like yeah, the yeah, bot yeah, says, sure. "Oh, I understand it's for a technical intervention," and, then and he sends it. automatically an email to the technical yeah. service with the client in copy and the sales guy in copy to say he needs an intervention.